Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install the current Oracle version that is Oracle Database 21C on Windows. Let's see. At first, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any web browser. On Google, type Oracle Downloads and press enter. On pressing enter, the official website will be visible and the same link. So you can directly click on here. So this will take us to oracle.com slash download space. Now go below. Under developer downloads, click on database because you want Oracle. Oracle is a database. Now we will reach here. So under database section, we will reach herein. We want Oracle. So it will come under database enterprise slash standard editions. Click on it. So now we have reached the Oracle database section. This is the old version 19C, but we want 21C. So I'll go below. Here it is Oracle database 21C. Now guys, what you can do, you can go below because you want for windows. So here it is 64 bit. Here you can see enterprise edition 21.3. The current version is available Oracle 21C. So I'll just click on the zip file, which is 2.5 GB. It will take some good amount of time to download. So I'll just directly click on the zip file, click on it. I reviewed and accepted the Oracle license agreement. Yes. Click on download. Now it will ask you to log in. If you're not having any account, you can create an account. Go to login and mention your username, your email ID. And the password. Now click on sign in. Now on clicking, it will download the same file 2.5 GB. So it will take some good amount of minutes based on your internet connection. Let's wait. So guys, as you can see here, we have downloaded it. Right click, click on show in folder. Now here is the file, the zip file. Copy this. After that, let us go to C drive from here. Okay, now let us create a new folder. Name it app. Double click on it and right click and paste the same file, zip file. Now we will right click and I'll select extract to the following. Now the extraction will begin. So the setup is now complete. We can change it to rename right click only db underscore home. Okay. Now open it here and find the setup file. It will be below here. It is setup.exe right click click on run as administrator allow Minimize this. The setup will now begin. Meanwhile, you can minimize this as well. Now the setup started. At first, you can see the configuration option is visible. Out of these, we can select the first one. It will also create a starter database and the second will only install it. I'll keep the default and I'll click on next. Now the desktop class and server class. If you are installing it on your laptop or desktop, go for the desktop class. So we are doing the same. So I'll click on next. For Oracle home user account, you can go for the virtual account. If you are an existing windows user, go for this or you can go for the windows built in account. I would rather prefer going for the create new windows user. Let's create it. Click on next. Remember this username and password. So guys, now we have reached the typical install configuration. This is the base location for all Oracle products. Okay. 
this is the location of our software if you remember here it is db underscore home okay here it is now the database will get saved under the following keep the default the addition you can go for anyone you can go for anyone right now go for the enterprise if you want more information you can just keep your mouse cursor on the question mark okay character set next keep the default unicode database name keep it as it is global database name you can add a password for it so you would be wondering what is this global database name this is the starter database okay so keep the name less than eight characters so i'll keep the default and i've also set the password and this is the the pluggable database name keep the default click on next now it will install now it will first perform the checks here is the check fine click on install now it will start installing So guys you can see the Oracle database installation is successful and here is the URL the localhost URL which you can use so guys in this video we saw how we how we can easily download and install the current Oracle version thank you for watching the video